Hi everyone, welcome to another Friday craft session. This week we're making a beautiful butterfly picture using chalk. Once you've made one, you can always experiment with your template shapes and make something a bit more like this. Remember to post a picture of your artwork below so that we can see and we hope you enjoy. So to start making your butterfly picture, you'll need some paper. An A4 sheet and an A5 sheet is fine. I've picked black because it's the most dramatic, but you can use any colour you like. You'll want two small strips of paper. They're roughly one and a half centimetres wide by 10 centimetres long. You want a ruler, a pencil and some chalks. These again can be any colours you like. And then a little bit of sellotape, a glue stick and a pair of scissors. So the first step to making your picture is to draw out your butterfly. So you'll want to fold your paper in half and then draw one half of a butterfly with the folded edge as your middle. So we'll start off by drawing the body. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly neat because you can always fix it when it comes to cutting it out. So now we're going to cut that shape out, keeping your paper folded. So you can get rid of that scrap bit and then fold your butterfly back out so you've got something that looks like this. So the next step is to get a little bit of sellotape and roll it into a circle so that the edges stick together and you're going to use that to gently tape your template down to the paper. You don't need it to be too stuck because otherwise it won't come off again, but just enough so that when you're drawing on it, it's not moving. So now if you get your chalks, what you want to do is color in at the edge. Don't worry if you go over onto the black paper, that's absolutely fine. And you can blend the colors where they meet as well. And you can always spin the paper round to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so now for the fun bit, all you need to do is using your fingers, brush the chalk outwards from your template and onto the paper.
you start to see all the colours mixing together as you brush the chalk. Okay, perfect. So give the paper a little tap just to get rid of any excess. And then you can throw that away later. And you might want a tissue as well just to give your fingers a quick wipe if they're very chalky. So the next step is to remove your template very carefully. And we'll just take the tape off the back and you can throw that away. So now you will have revealed a beautiful outline of a butterfly on your paper. If you do have any coloured bits that you don't like on the inside or any fingerprints you don't want, you can just gently rub those away with a tissue. Okay, so now if you put your black piece of paper to one side and bring your template back over, using a ruler, just gently fold along the edge of the wings. And you'll want to fold them up the way, like so. And then I'll do the other one. Okay, perfect. So that's going to make your butterfly look a little bit more 3D when it comes to gluing it down. Next thing you'll want to do is take your two strips of paper and we're going to glue one edge down. On top of the other one at the corner so you create a right angle like that. And then fold each piece over the edge of the previous one to create a concertina. And then just keep folding them over one another until you run out of paper. Don't worry if you end up with a little extra bit, you can always snip that off later. So lift up your last flap and put some glue on it and then fold it down. I'm just going to trim off that little side piece. Okay, so now if you bring your picture back, put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your concertina and then glue it in the corner of your picture, like so. Then put another little bit of glue on the top, and then we're gonna pick up our butterfly and glue the middle down onto your concertina, and then just press gently and you can fold the wings a little bit if you need to. And there you go, you've got a beautiful 3D butterfly on your picture. And then for the last step, get another piece of chalk and just draw a little dashed line going off of the butterfly and into its shadow. So it looks like it's just taken flight. And that's it. That's how to make a beautiful chalk butterfly picture.